while our surviving robots go off to solder their wounds, we're going to take some time out for some wanton demolition. Yes, it's the return of our sumo basho. It's the ultimate shoving match. The longer each competing robot can stay in the ring, the higher up the series leaderboard they'll go. But of course, it's Shunt they're up against, and he doesn't like being pushed around. So, get ready to slap the fat and let the trials begin! Rock Graves in Essex and seeded number 10, Spawn of Scutter. Back again, last series they had Scutter's Revenge, knocked out at the semi-final stage of the main event, weighing in at 78.8 kilos, a test of pure strength against Shunt. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. And it's very simple. You've just got to stay in there as long as you can. That's the main aim. Dodging shunt, a wise move. Oh, not long enough. Dear, oh dear. <laughs> shunt victorious. They didn't last long, did they? Spawn of Scutter scuttling out of the arena. <laughs> Over in a flash. From Durham, seed number five, Firestorm. Well, they were finalists in the main event last time. In fact, they finished joint third, Graham Bone and Alex Morju, weighing in at 79.9 kilos. Nippy around the arena floor as well normally. Robert Could do well. Stand by. Three, two, one. Activate. Move to your left, Firestorm. Yep, that's the tactic I would have used to dodge shot. <laughs> Well, my tactic was good then, wasn't it? <laughs> They're out. <laughs> yeah, splendid stuff. I think they made the right move, honestly, but straight onto the bullzones of a shunt and out. They couldn't get any traction and it's zoom over and out for them. But not a good time. Only 4.21 seconds. Spawn of Scut 8.03. Surely not the benchmark for future sumos. From Dublin and seeded number 21, Deer Tour. And great fun throughout the history of Robot Wars, winning sportsmanship awards. And Kieran Byrne, one of the team members, celebrating as well. Wife Teresa recently gave birth to their second daughter, Alison. There's Jotio, weighing in at 80 kilos. Hence the might, the power of shunt. Roboteers, stand by. Have to stay. In Three, the sumo basho ring two, as long as possible. One. Just under a meter long and wide and heavy, but out! Oh, that's a terrible run for the, for the boys from Dublin. Never got going. And Shub was simply awesome in power on the drive. They came head to head, and there was just the one winner there. Alan and David Wood, Mark Holland, the team members. On the slot, weighs in at 80.2 kilos. Can get up to 12 miles an hour. And has that pneumatically powered scooper at the front. Roboteers, stand by. I wonder if they'll use the scooper Three, here. Two, one, activate. Not go on the attack. Well, a nudge. That's interesting. Up and over, shunt. Yes, holding on. Wheel spinning. This is a good run. This is a very good run. Darting away. Good speed, maneuverability. Oh, dear, oh, dear. What are you doing, boys? You had it there. You drove off the sumo basho ring. Cease. Great stuff early on. Foot on the pedal. Oh. And retired, so to speak. A piratical skull and crossbones on the front. Avashi, Davy Jones locker. Good time though, Onslaught. Best so far, 17.31 seconds. Look at Jotio, 3.95. They're the worst runners we've had in the Sumo Basho. More to come. From Nutley in East Sussex, Scorpion. Unirobot War, Scorpion driven by two wheelchair motors, has two chainsaw cutting discs. Slow around the arena though, to seven miles an hour. I'm not too sure if it'll be strong enough to stay in with Shunt. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, act. 
activate. Scorpion weighing in at over 76 kilos. Well, this is a steady start. Ooh. Will it be a quick finish, though? Well, there's your answer. No sting in the tail for Scorpion. Teetering, teetering. Yeah, tottering. And out. From Chelmsford in Essex, Destructor Bubble. More newcomers. A little bit sluggish, just five mile an hour top speeds, but they've conjured up a wonderful looking robot here. Stand by. <laughs> Look at it. I love the Union Jack Bowler hat. Fantastic. Laughing in the face Three, of adversity towards two, Shunt. One. Activate. The big bubble. Destructor bubble. Well, that's a good manoeuvre. Side on, you see Shunt can't get any leverage there. Now it can! Opening up for a broadside from Shunt! <laughs> Cease. Brilliant! Drove straight off into the tyres. One eye shut, one eye open. Oh, but look at that! The bubble hasn't burst! 11.91 seconds, and they go second. We have ten more robots to go in Sumo Basho. S-M-I-D-S-Y stands for sorry, mate, I didn't see you. A team formed over the internet. Remember from Kent, Sussex and Yorkshire? Four go-kart wheels driven by two motors will try and gain traction on the arena floor. Shunt, a bulldozer with a rear-mounted scoop. Fearsome axe. Roboteers, stand by. Mike Reed, Robin Bennett, Andy Pugh. Three, Smitsy. two, one. Activate. Time along with the boys from Smitsy. That's a great technique. Going to the side of Shunt. Backing away. This is a very, very good sumo basho run here by Smitsy. To the arena centre. Eventually went off. But that's a very creditable run. Good early tactic here, going to the side of Shunt, avoiding problems, eventually spun off, but the clock had just ticked over 14 seconds. That's a good run. Here come our next furry eared competitors. Keith Sur Williams, Cata sister Kill. Julie Ann, boyfriend George Reed, Caterkiller from Adelston in Surrey. Now, significantly, for Sumo Basho, Caterkiller has rubber tracks with aluminium pads for extra traction, weighs 80 kilos. To go up against Shunt, who moves four and a half meters per Robert second. Stand by. Shunt can Three, drag a fully loaded two, Land Rover. One. Activate. Don't go broadside to Shunt. Don't go broadside. Steady push backwards, dodging on the side of the arena. Oh, the riding's on the wall. In comes Shunt, and down they go. Again over 14 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> we lasted longer than four seconds. Smiles in the cabin. But once you're in that position, whoops, over you go. Perilously tottering, teetering, toppling. So let's have a look how they got on. Smitsy moves second, 14.11 seconds. Caterkiller third, 14.03. Still to come. Eight more robots in Sumo Basho. From Southampton, Maverick. Father and son team, young Francis wants to join the Navy to become a pilot. Dad, Kevin, he loves to watch Southampton play football. There's the robot, Maverick, 79.8 kilos in weight. That's a pneumatically powered front flipper. Roboteers, stand by. Has to stay in the arena against Shunt. Three, two, one. Powered from two Activate. wheelchair motors. Maverick against Shunt. Gently manoeuvring its way to the left-hand side. Already staying in there. Eight seconds and more, but goes now. Had no answer when Shunt finally pressed out on the accelerator and came forward on the attack. Gruesome grin on the features of Maverick. But the last laugh was with Shunt. From Hereford and seeded number 22, X Terminator. Three man team Marlon Pritchard, Paul Lewis, and Simon Baldwin. X Terminator, 80.1 kilos, an aluminium shell. Now, if we'll see the axe weapon. The scoop bucket at the front, though. Roboteers, stand by. Could be advantageous here. Three. To get in underneath Shunt when two, Shunt comes forward. One. 
teammates. Slamming against Shunt, immediately on the attack. You can see there the little scoop right underneath Shunt, pushing it back and wedging itself down on Shunt. This is a great tactic. This is a fine run here by Exterminator. And they use the weapon on the front, that little scoop to get in underneath Shunt. Shunt can gain no momentum. Look at like the wheel spinning. This is a brilliant run. This is the best we've had so far. Terrific stuff. The sumo basho belongs to Exterminator from Hereford so far. Shunt cannot manoeuvre. Shunt cannot come forward. Look at this. Up around half a minute already. This is fantastic stuff. Sumo Basho Exterminator. X-rated stuff for the house robot. It can't do anything. They pin Shunt down. He can't do anything. Look at this. This is what we've waited for. Now, God, Pivo gets Shunt out of that Basho arena. Push and shove. Pivo, Pivo, get Shunt back. Go on, push and push and push. Tremendous stuff. They're going to last in there. They're going to outlast the house robot. Brilliant stuff from the boys from Hereford. Exterminator. That's the best so far. What a performance that was. Straight on the attack. Great tactics. The full minute survived. The only way Exterminator can now be beaten is if one of the six remaining contestants push Shunt out of the arena within the minute. And there's some good robots to come there. Razor amongst them, Pussycat too. But coming next, the reigning world and international champions. Let's see what they can do. From Bournemouth, seed number three, Razor. Three great competitors, Vinnie Blood, Simon Scott, Ian Lewis, Razor against Shunt. The object to stay Rubens on that sumo basho arena floor. Three, two, one. Activate. Of course, now shove Shunt out of the arena. Oh dear, Razor's gone. Straight away, they had to go on the attack, really. Trying to force Shunt out of the arena, and bang, crash, gone. Razor. Can't come back in, boys. He may try. Oh, what are you going to do? Bounce up off the rubber tyres? Razor. From Gloucester, seed number 19, Pussycat. The machine of Alan and David Gribble, Robert Bettington as well. The circular blade, very forceful weapon, removed because this, let me get it, is a child of strength and endurance. Roboteers, stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Stay on the sumo mat and also push shunt out. To win the sumo basho challenge, that's what one of our remaining contestants has to do and it won't be Pussycat. That's for certain. Retired, so to speak, from the sumo basho floor. In this way. A little shimmy by Shunt, delicate movement actually, nice little dummy, drew on Pussycat, then got the great blade underneath Pussycat and bulldozed the kitty out of the arena. How did the kitty tally up? Well, sick so far, Razor down in 10th, goodness me they'll be disappointed with that, but look at Exterminator, the four minutes survive, four robots to go in the sumo basho. The trials of strength and endurance being won so far by Exterminator, they lasted the whole minute in the Sumo Basho ring. Anyone who wants to beat them has to push Shunt out of the ring inside that minute time. From Cumbran and seed number four, Panic Attack. Good robot, good competitors, Kim Davis, young Michael and Christian Bridge. Panic Attack, low centre of gravity. 80.6 kilos, good weight to take on Shunt. Roboteers, stand by. Good driver as well, Kim Davis. Three, two, one, activate. Maintenance manager by trade takes on Shunt. Ooh, brinkmanship from Panic Attack. Right on the edge. Getting away from Shunt. This is a viable tactic, dodge Shunt. Stay away from him, you don't want to get close up to that bulldozer scoop. And this isn't bad so far by Panic Attack. Oh, very nearly out, and Shunt goes! Panic Attack threw Shunt on, I think Shunt hit the ground first, which means Panic Attack could be the new leaders. If Shunt hit the ground first, let's have a look. 
Panic attack certainly went out, but the question is, did Shunt hit the ground first? Because if they did, they did! Panic attack will be the new leaders, they've done it! They drew Shunt on, uh, more by luck than judgment, I would suggest, but there you have it, Shunt hit the ground first, and panic attack will be the new leaders, even though they're a little bit fluky. From Hebel Hempstead and number six seed, Bayamoff. Well, they know what they've got to do now. Anthony and Michael Pritchard, Kane Aston, Bachelor of Science in Computer Studies. Bayam off with its 80.4 kilos, its pneumatic scoop. Has to go on the attack. Roboteers, stand by. Can't Three, back now. two, one. Has to thrust activate. forward. Has to go at Shunt and try and leave a Shunt off within the time set by Panic Attack. Digging in. I suppose a moral victory would be to last the minute anyway for Panic Attack and join Exterminator. <laughs> well, it's uh, not hugely entertaining, is it? Look at this. Bang, scoop to scoop, and then... Um, um, well, not a lot of movement. Um, no, not a lot of movement. Movement! Movement! Yes! We had a flicker, a spasm. Brilliant, though. They've lasted the minute, and that's all that matters for them. That's what sumo's all about. A load of lard and not enough movement. And their confirmation of our lardy boys in joint second beam off. They lasted the, the minute, but look at Panic Attack. The only robot to shove Shunt out of the arena in 21.15 seconds. There are leaders. Two robots still to go. Quite simple now to win sumo basho. The competing robots have got to push Shunt out of the arena within 21.15 seconds. Panic Attack leading with a fantastic score. From Brighton and seeded number 14, Bigger Brother. Joe Watts, seven and a half, and Dad Ian Watts, a broadcasting engineer with Bigger Brother, reached the semi-finals of Series 3. Roboteers, stand by. You have 21 Three, seconds to push Shunt two, out of the arena. One. Activate. And Shunt weighs 105 kilos. Bigger Brother dances around Shunt and uh, oh, ends up out of the arena. About as heavyweight as Little Joe, Big Brother. Not great opposition for Shunt. Straight away out. From Norwich, Thermidor 2. David Hardy and Ian Harvey with Thermidor 2. We've already seen them in the main competition of Robot Wars. Roboteers, stand by. Go on, get that Three, flipper in underneath two, Shunt. Lift one, Shunt away and out of the arena. Go on the attack, you have to attack now. Do not be conservative and defensive. It will not do that. <laughs> I was gonna say it would do any good. What was the point? <laughs> Lobster in reverse. Oh dear. But it means we have our winners. Confirm champions of the fourth series of Robot Wars at Sumo Basho. Panic Attack, the only robot to push. Shunt out of the arena. Brilliant. And just time to mention our other two arena events running in parallel to the big heavyweight competition, the Sumo Basho. Panic Attack. The only robot to survive. You had to stay on the Basho floor longer than Shunt. And Kim Davis managed it with Panic Attack. Well done.